Okay, I'm a bit behind this week. I was at TwitchCon, and then I came home very sick. Oh, it's more like a common cold, but <laughs> your boy is struggling. But ain't no way I'm missing an episode of JJK, man. Especially with all the craziness happening. But welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach the Buster. I should know me. It's episode 37 called Red Scale. Last episode, not me really showing everybody who he is and putting the butcher in the dirt. At the end of the last episode, Yuji ran into... It's the brother of, like, the two curses from the end of season one, I believe. I don't remember his name, but he ran into him... And and Mei Mei is trapped in a domain expansion. Like I said, a lot going on. We're gonna hop right into it. Drop a fat like on this one. Let's get started. The hat man. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I'm supposed to look into the symbolism behind it, but good little transition. Oh my. They're just like unleashed on everybody. Oh, this is like, like hell on earth. Bro, I don't think I've even thought about that perspective of how many people there truly are here. Who do you save? What do you do? You just run past everybody and let them die? That vocabulary! Oh, shoot! Can he handle a lot of it? He has a megaphone. Wait, this is perfect. Oh, shoot. Dude, there's just such an enormous supporting cast. Like, anyone can pop up, anything can happen. Mm, getting closer and closer to midnight. Them late hours. This is another sign. This is a nice train. Is the Shibuya train station really this nice? This looks nice. Oh, I see. So this was, we just flashed back a little bit before he ran into him. Like whenever you see New York subways, like they're portrayed how rightfully so, like how, how pretty rough shape they are. Oh my gosh. Time stops. He looks so like disinterested. Oh my. Are we gonna get an explanation? Okay, perfect. I pressured a blood. Oh, like a diamond. Oh, bro, they ain't gonna talk? What? The speed of sound? That is dope. It's like a, a, a laser beam. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, think, I can't believe we even got to him. Why did he double hit? Bro, they got started fast. He just impaled him. Lock in, Yuji. Oh, oh, now we talk. Oh, now you have something to ask. I, I guess that's fair. <laughs> Oh, he knows immediately. Damn. I mean, he's not even saying that to piss him off. He's just telling the truth. The arrow pointing right to him. <laughs> saying go. Wait, the, his brothers did use blood techniques, right? If I'm remembering right, it's been so long. Oh, he, was, he should, shouldn't have let him gather it. It was like a bomb. Brother, damn, that is such a sick like a technique though. It's so different from JJK, like the usual JJK. But I say that everybody has such a different technique. Ugh. Oh my God, wait, our boy's getting clapped. What's the point of applying the blood and then pulling it off, or is he just pulling it back to use it again? Oh man, you're just gonna pull, have to pull out some stops here, man. The very advanced user. How is that just floating like that? He just dies instantly. Yeah. Oh, what? He's going to do a little uh, guess and check. See his technique? He's going to fall for it too. He said he would. That is so sick. Okay, he's seeing like sort of the tell of when it's going to fire. Only fast when first fire, and then it slows down. Yeah, because... Oh, no. What? Oh, what just happened? Oh, gosh. He bends it so slowly. It must be such an insane amount of pressure to control. God, his voice actor sounds familiar. So it didn't completely pierce him. It pierced him, just not all the way. He's a demon! What is Megarar's part in this anymore? Oh. Okay. Choso, that's his name. Camo the brother? Oh, thin I third year? Hereditary. 
Close, mid, and long range. There's so many ways to use it. <laughs> Can't bleed out either. Oh, thank you. Flee into the restroom. Maybe close quarters? He's just firing at him. Yeah, true. True. God, that technique is so dope. Brother! Dude, Mega Maru is like the tip screen on a video game. What is he doing? Destroying the toilets? Oh, maybe like water from sewage? He's assessing, yeah. Dude, this episode is so like cinematic. Oh. Damn! Oh my gosh! The emotional manipulation! Bro, this fight is crazy! Water, water. Uh huh. I was kind of on it. Dude. Well, rip that Mechamaru. That part of him. Dog. Oh, the drums. Bum, bum, bum. Good hit. No! Mechamaru! There's probably another, like, random piece of him somewhere. Everywhere. That was a good plan, though. Yeah, the blood was like coagul coagulates or explode, I guess. Did he not think about this? Coagulations, yes, dude. Oh, so it's even more strict about it. Dude, why did Mechamaru say 10%? This completely like nullifies the blood. 45% of it. Brother. This seems more like a 30 to 40% chance. Maybe he meant like, like that he would fall for it. They're just gonna fist fight this bathroom now? He doesn't look too distraught about it. Oh, Red Scale is the name of the episode. <laughs> He's never been in this position before. God, the OST slaps. I'm shocked that Choso wasn't sort of uh, prepared for that sort of scenario. Water, inherently. Go ahead, use the environment, Yuji. Distraction. Oh, no. God, this goes so hard! Fight him! Yeah! Oh my god! Give me claw balls for me exposed. Oh, hidden. Oh no! Like a hidden gun! He's building it up! Oh! It's not the same. His liver! Shit. Yuji, don't give up! Oh. Oh. He has to get through him. Yeah, dude. He has to play his part. Oh my, Jika Chad. It's like shocked. Is that a tooth? I mean, he was out of options, though. What is he doing? Is it hardening? Yo! Oh my gosh! That is sick! And then he just gets back in there. God damn, he's kind of giving Yuji the respect too. Make him make the first move. What's even happening? Oh, I know that fist would hurt. Yeah, there's the two. What, what is the fixation? Oh, okay. He literally just threw it to distract him. Oh my god, he's fast! I feel every hit! How does he stop him from that angle? Oh my gosh, wait, he's blinded! God damn, this goes hard! Oh, that's a fast shoulder hit. Bro, whether Yuji wins this fight or not, he is out of commission. Got one more eight claws! Like, the, the music <laughs> feels like victorious, like a swelling. But it doesn't feel that way in the actual fight. Oh my gosh, bro. Since the start. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Tell me that's not what he expected, though. That sounded like a block. That sounded like a block.
Yuji, Yuji called his bluff. He, he thought he wouldn't expect it, but he did. Barely? Oh, no. This goes bad to worse. <laughs> Ah, Sugura! What happens? Oh no. Wait, does Sukuna take over? What? What? Wait, what? He knows Sugura is in Yuji, though. What? That's some top tier gaslighting! Oh. Oh my. Uh. His brothers. Like he made him feel immense guilt. Like he just killed one of his brothers, but usually he's not his brother. Uh, let's see what's after the uh, outro. Oh. Who is this man? They found Yuji. Let's get started. Bro, and how do people still not agree that Jujutsu Kaisen is peak new gen? What was that episode? That was one of the most spectacular fights I have ever watched in anime. Holy sh! The camera work, the cinematics, the sort of chess game between Choso and Yuji. Like the part Yuji plays in all of this is so insanely important that anything that happens to his character, it's really monumental. And all Choso's doing this for is his brothers. But I don't think he really truly understands what he may have awakened here. The fact that we saw Sukuna this episode is very telling that he may take over Yuji's body. I don't really know. That entire sort of subplot, I, I mean, it's technically like the main plot is Yuji, you know, consuming the fingers. It's something that's most confusing to me out of anything in Jujutsu Kaisen, but it hasn't been the focus in a while. But what are they getting started? Are those the two girls that were involved with Ghetto's body? I don't know, man. I'm I, I'm gonna watch that fight over and over again the next couple days, though, because that was insane. Like, I know people were looking forward to this arc and just in general, but that was executed on a level so impressive. I'm just blown away. That has been it for my reaction to episode 37 of JJK. Red scale. Drop a fat like on this one. Drop some comments down below on what you thought of the fight, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.